You see, that's how I used to feel before we became bestest friends. The Peridua Kalisa. It's made in Malaysia and some people spend more on their car stereo. The Malaysians don't have a reputation for producing slinky, chic statements of urban city cool when it comes to cars. Theirs is more of a slap it together, put stickers on it and sell it cheap philosophy. But we shouldn't dismiss their cars out of hand. At £5,300 on the road, the Kalisa is about as cheap a car as you can get before you go pedal powered. Of course, this isn't the base model, it's the GXI. 5,900 quid. I've got to say that I didn't run into the street in my carpet slippers, desperate to slide a pyjama clad buttock onto the driver's seat of this thing the morning it was unceremoniously deposited outside of my house with all the dignity of a mini skip. In fact, I ignored it. I walked, cycled, took the bus, hopped anything to avoid that first moment when I knew I'd have to take the plunge. And now look at us, bestest chums. I like it, I really do. And here's why. First of all, the driving experience. It actually hits its top speed in fourth gear with fifth effectively being a motorway overdrive. Peridua claim that that top speed is about 88 miles an hour. Well, I'm not so sure, unless this speedo is wildly optimistic. Because I've had the thing practically round the clock twice. I've been howling down the outside lane of the motorway. I like doing that in a car like this. It uses a three-cylinder 1,000cc engine, which in anything else would depress me mightily. In this, though, it thrums away merrily. If it compares to anything, the Kalisa feels like a slightly more comfortable and considerably less bouncy version of the original Mini. The steering is direct and instant enough. The brakes are there. There's not a lot for them to do, really. It's only a light car, but call on them and they'll do the job. But best of all, the engine noise. I couldn't quite make my mind up what it sounded like. Then a Porsche went the other way, a Boxster. Honest, it does, to my ears. And then there's the looks. If it were made by pretty much anybody else, we'd all be cooing over its cute looks, standing four square on its wheels. Once again, we're reminded of the original Mini. It's a pretty car. Go on, admit it. And here's an idea for Peridur. Why not produce these in wacky paint schemes? Do a pink one with yellow flowers and white wheels. Do one up to look like, I don't know, a pillar box, and pretty soon it'll have cult status. Some great big junket loving freebie grabbing magazine journalists have criticised the little Peridor for being a depreciation disaster. Eh? It costs five grand. I mean, how much can you lose? A Jaguar XJR would lose more than that in its first two seconds out of the showroom. I mean, I can see how it could be a difficult decision. For this kind of money, you could have had a really nice toaster, a fridge maybe, or a nice hat. Possibly the best of all reasons why the little Peridou and I have become chums is the fact that it puts you in a good mood. It's not a car you can frown in. Let me put it this way. Try wandering around for a day with a set of moose antlers taped to your head and being in a bad mood. Nobody's going to take you seriously. It's not a car for bad moods. You've got to smile, or people will laugh at you. Of course, you're not getting Audi build quality when it comes to the interior, but I have sat in far, far worse. And if you get bored in a jam, you can sit there and count how many different shades of grey plastic adorn the interior. In fact, it manages to ooze personality and character. There's a sort of inbuilt forgiveness factor. Put it this way, it would have to be pretty crap to offend anyone at this sort of money. In this GXI version, there is amazingly no shortage of kit. Electric front windows, twin airbags, alloy wheels, a CD player, remote release for the boot and fuel filler, even remote central locking. I think the real reason why we've become mates is this. Some small cars are just too pompous. They take themselves too seriously. Things like the Daimatiz and the Suzuki Ignis. They're all trying to be something other than a cheap and cheerful car. This clearly isn't. This, in fact, is about as cheap and as cheerful as you can get. 